Well, David O'Connell here. Um, I thought I'd make a just random vlog because I talk to myself, I guess, a little too much sometimes. Um, it just made me think about it. Um, back in 2016, I dated this girl. And this is pretty much pertaining to the first time I can say I had an well, pretty bad reaction to a drug, or drugs, or whatever, um, I remember, I, I still do not remember much to this day, even though it's been over two years since it happened, um, this girl I dated over the summer that year, I remember I was at her apartment hanging out for most of the day, and, um, we were in her bedroom, laying in bed, just hanging out, doing whatever, and, I remember telling her something about, like, I was feeling something, or, like, I wasn't feeling good, and the only thing I remember is that she, she had me get something from her dresser drawer, and it was a bottle about, like, this big, and it had some pills in it. I didn't think to really ask her what it was, what it does, this, this, and that, and she told me it was for... I think her anxiety or some crap like that. So I wasn't even thinking. So I was like, all right, fine, you know, fuck it. I'll take it. And the pill was like literally like that small. It was super tiny. So I grabbed some water, took it. And the only thing I remember afterwards is that I was laying in bed. I was laying on my back and I started, it felt like my eyes were like, like, mold like morphing like into my head like I was losing my eyesight and I remember looking over at well my ex and I was like I was like Gussie I I can't really see and she was like what what are you talking about and then she told me because I don't really remember this but she told me I suddenly started laughing like full on like grabbing my stomach laughing my ass off and I don't remember I, this is what she had told me, and then she told me I just passed out. She thought I died, because she told me she was trying to get me awake, or whatever the hell had just happened to me, and she told me every time she, like, would move my head, or, like, try and lift my hand up, lift my arm, it would just go, or, like, I was just completely gone, and then I remember getting a wake-up call at like 6.30 in the morning the next day. When this first happened, it was only 2 o'clock, about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and then I remember she woke me up, and she told me, you know, you gotta go home, and I don't remember even going home at all. I just remember seeing the sun rising because it was, you know, 6.30 in the morning. So then I came home, you know, fell back asleep, eventually felt better, but that was like two days later. I felt like tons of shit. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, so I told my mom, I told some old friends about it, and they all asked me, you know, what'd you take? What did she give you? Of course, I can't remember the name of it. So I went over to her place about three days later. And I asked her, what exactly did you give me? And what is it for? Because obviously it's your drug, your pill or whatever. She told me it was for her anxiety and like four other things. I don't have anxiety problems. I'm not anything like mental or I don't have like severe depression or anything like that she did and I guess I can say it had a very nasty ad adverse effect on me I Gussie well that's the name of my ex she told me I was laughing so hard my nose started bleeding like I mean not full on like you know coming out of my nose where it was like little, little bits of blood is coming because I didn't have a beard back then like I do now, um, so it was it was a little scary because I told like I remember I think like two weeks after that 
she asked if I wanted it again. I remember looking straight at her and I was like, okay, considering what happened the first time, and I still don't remember anything that happened, no. And, I don't know, I just thought I'd make a random vlog, or whatever they call it, about, I guess, my first bad drug trip, so, yeah.